always interesting when we come into contact with the idea of suffering because most people they don't want to hear about it you know they they go i don't want to know i don't want to deal it i don't want to think about it because they probably have suffered at some point in time in their life and they resist you know the whole idea that sometimes suffering can be good that it can cause a tenderness in you, a sensitivity that you might not have ever achieved in any other way except that you have suffered and gone through that awareness that pain can bring pride to a place of <laughs> humility and causing it to bear the fruit of gentleness and meekness and temperance and kindness because pride goes before destruction and a haunting spirit before a fall and it's so easy for pride to really it's so easy for pride to sneak in, is the best way to say it, to, can't think of the word, but anyways, to come in where we don't possibly know that we're being full of pride, and then suddenly something like suffering comes along, and when we may need someone else, or we may just simply suffer in silence, that will, a lot of times, bring pride down to its base nature, and eliminate it completely from our lives. Don't be surprised if you're full of pride that at some point in time you may come to a place of suffering to be reminded what humility is. Unto you it is given to suffer. Philippians 1.29 God keeps a costly school. Many of his lessons are spelled out through tears. Richard Baxter said, O oh God, I thank thee for the bodily discipline of eight and fifty years. And he is not the only man who has turned a trouble into triumph. The school of our Heavenly Father will soon close for us. The term time is shortening every day. Let us not shrink from a hard lesson or wince under any rod of chastisement. The richer will be the crown and the sweeter will be heaven if we endure cheerfully to the end and graduate in glory from the suffering we endure. The finest china in the world is burned at least three times, some of it more than these three times. Dresden China is always burned three times. Why does it go through the intense fire? Once ought to be enough, twice ought to be enough. No, three times are necessary to burn the china so that the gold and crimson are brought out more beautifully and then fastened there to stay. We are fashioned after the same principle in human life. Our trials are turned into us once, twice, thrice, and by God's grace these beautiful colors are there and they are there to stay forever. The graces of God, the meekness, temperance, kindness, and gentleness often comes through the application of the realization of how God ministers to us when we are in need and when we are hurting or when we are going through suffering, is that as we suffer, then our dependency brings us to a place of immediacy of the need to have God present with us. And in the same way, when we suffer, likewise, it brings us to the realization that having company of the fellowship of believers is important for us in order to know that we are loved and that there is those who care for us in a deep and passionate way that we might not have the intimacy we so desire except that we go through the suffering i know for myself that i never would have been as sensitive to other people had i not suffered so greatly all those years of lying in hospital beds and having no one to succor me or to come visit to have no one to be there to participate or to share or pray for or to even be there you know in some way that they could identify or help me so i had to turn to god and to realize and recognize from him that the strangers in my midst sometimes were christians and some of them cared but from a distance and that sometimes they were doing their job but sometimes they were doing a little more and so i recognized how in those times that we have that ability to be God's ministers to someone else if we are willing to endure suffering to tenderize us so that we would go to those that are in prison imprisoned by either their sin or in prison physically or imprisoned by their physical flesh that somehow has failed them and that we would be those ministers that were sent or angels so to speak by God to touch the lives that we can now appreciate because we have suffered the same and been given that 
they keep saying in their sucker, but given that same consolation that God gave to us, we give to someone else. And the bottom line of what consolation is, we just love them. We just love the person just because God said, just because God died for them, and just because they're suffering. Suffering brings out qualities in us, and I hope it's grace and mercy, meekness, gentleness, and kindness that suffering causes us to become, because then we can say, thank you for suffering.